The P in CPA stands for public, and public interest has always been a big part of the CPA profession. Last year, the Society had a task force that looked at the public interest and what it means for the CPA profession and the Indiana CPA Society. The task force found that respecting the public interest was mo the most appropriate and meaningful word. So the first part of the Society's mission statement was changed to, our mission is to enhance the professional success of our members while respecting the public interest. They also created a definition. Public interest represents a reasonable level of comfort by direct or indirect users of the services of our members. The Society and its members have a commitment and responsibility to respect the public interest and to preserve the public's trust related to accounting, finance, and business. And they determine the Society's role. The Society respects the public interest by helping members provide current and future services with integrity, competency, and quality and they determine public interest filters for considering new initiatives or services. Does it help our members provide current and future services with integrity, competency, and quality? Does it focus on services, programs, and initiatives that members, firms, or companies cannot do on their own or that would not be as effective if undertaken on their own? Does it represent something members value and enhance members' success? And does it align with the value proposition, core values, vision, and mission statements? We asked some society members about their views on respecting the public interest. Here's what they had to say. I really think that respecting the public interest is a vital part of what a CPA does every day. From the CPA who's in public auditing a publicly traded company to someone providing tax advisory services or even a cost accountant who's you know, in industry. We are all out there gathering information so that we can provide valuable and vital information to people who need to make decisions every day. It's all about uh, serving and also doing it in an honest way for us to respect the public and to hold ourselves up to the highest level possible. Uh, we police ourselves, we self-regulate and we want to and we do a good job of it. The process through the Ethics Committee, wow, it's important. It's, it's uh, most, one of the most important committees in the society. Uh, we are protecting the public's interest because of that process. That process involves uh, concurrence with the AICPA. We're one of the states uh, called Category 1 where anything that we investigate and the decisions that we make are shared with and concurred by and with the AICPA. So when a, a member is admonished or uh, something is uh, written down and, and published that you know they've done this or that, uh, they've been given due process. But it also shows the public when we advertise in the newspapers and local uh, journals and such that uh, someone has done this and done that. Uh, we are showing the public that we're serious about monitoring ourselves. We live in a very complex world and it's getting more complex every day and I think it's the role of uh, CPAs to help the public understand these complex financial issues um, so that they can make informed decisions. I think that CPAs are uniquely positioned to help in understanding the complex financial issues facing our country right now because it's what we do every day. CPAs are in the business of gathering complex information from all kinds of data and synthesizing it into useful information so that people, whether it's the public at large or businesses, can make decisions. So there you have it. Respecting the public interest can mean a variety of things to different people. But whatever it means to you, it is a responsibility of all CPAs and the society as well. You may have your own thoughts and examples. Take time to consider how you respect the public interest and preserve the public trust in your daily activities and throughout your career.